Uh, why would someone beat this kitten? That's what one local pet group wants to know tonight. This poor cat was brought to A. Heinz 57 with a broken jaw and a broken front leg. He's out of surgery, but still has a long road ahead of him tonight. The crews working to help the kitten recover say all of these injuries came from him being beaten with a bat. Yeah, they don't know who did it, but right now the focus is on nursing the kitten back to health. Local 5's Angelina Salcedo is in Des Moines after speaking with the cat's team of doctors and nurses. Well, that tiny kitten's name is Sunkiss, and he was brought to IVRC on Monday and went through surgery yesterday. Doctors tell me he's quickly recovering. Here he is. This baby kitty has been through a lot. He's skinny. Um, his jaw was malaligned. Um, he had a lot of swelling, a lot of scar tissue. He had no sensation in his limb. They say a couple in Appanoose County beat him with a bat, leaving him broken and bruised. The neighbor had seen this happen and said it happens quite regularly at this person's home that they beat animals. Amy Hines with A. Hines 57 says the man who brought him in was the third person to get the kitten. His relative couldn't take care of it. She asked this guy to put it down by shooting it and he just couldn't bring himself to shoot it so he brought it to us. Unfortunately, yes, we've seen kittens in as bad condition as he is. It's not uncommon for rescue teams to see animals this badly beaten. Each time, it wears on the team's hearts. Why would somebody do this? What, what triggers somebody to be that awful and turn into that monster? But seeing them survive in the end is the most rewarding. Probably the most worthwhile part of the job is being able to help little guys like this. Cats and dogs are so resilient and he'll bounce back in a couple weeks and you know just it breaks my heart to see him like this but but in the end we'll have a happy tail picture and that's that's what we live for. Well, the staff at A. Heinz 57 say that they are trying to get the names of the couple. That way they can report them to authorities. Now, while Sunkiss may have suffered several injuries and lost a leg, he's purring and should be back to normal in two weeks. Reporting in Des Moines, Angelina Salcedo, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa.